Hi, this is Will, your online brain training and self-image expert, here today with day nine in our 21-day series called Eat That Elephant in the Room. And again, the inspiration for this series is a fundraiser for Sketch that I'm doing. So if you're inspired by these videos, if they're helpful for you, please make a donation. And if you aren't, or you just wanna watch the videos for the content, that is also awesome. So today in day nine, this morning was a shitty morning. I've been working really hard this week. I've had logged way too many hours of my job and I work again tonight and I work tomorrow this whole long 13 hour day and I'm just exhausted. So this morning I was relaxing. I was trying to take some time off, do whatever I felt like doing. And as a result, I also ate food that I don't feel great eating and you know, stay on the couch way too long. And it wasn't a productive kind of resting. Now it was necessary for a little while, but I embellished a bit too much. And then I went from there and I went right into trying to deal with one of the toughest, stickiest areas of my life. And it didn't go so well. So this is for you if you are a perfectionist, if you've dealt with depression, if you have patterns of frustration, patterns of anger, or if you downward spiral a lot. This is a recipe for disaster to not eat things that make you feel good. I didn't meditate first thing this morning, which also helps me feel really great. I didn't do any of the things that helped me feel really good. And then I tried to attack the issue that is bothering me the most. Don't do this. You are reinforcing the brain pattern that says that that area can't move. And you're actually doing what you've always done, which is you're addressing that tricky area from the same emotional state. Hear this. You cannot change your results in an area if you keep coming at it from the same emotional state. You also can't change it if you come at it from the same way of thinking, but in this video we're gonna talk about emotional state because I find that when you're in a certain emotional state, you can't even see the other possibilities. You can't even see the other ways of solving that problem. So I realized this about two hours ago that I wasn't gonna get this video done and some other things done that would really make me feel great. And if I didn't do those, I'd spend this whole shift at work tonight feeling crappy about not having done them. So, what did I do? I got up, I put on my shoes, I went for a run. I didn't wanna go for a run. I didn't feel like going for a run. I didn't feel like trying to change my state to get into doing the things that make me feel good, but I did it. And even during the run, I was cranky and I was angry and I was frustrated. And I felt like, you know, even doing this five minute run will take away time from doing the video and all these, th and I just let it all have its go, it was fine. And I promised myself that when the run was done, I would use a technique called going general. And I'm gonna explain that in just a moment. So after the run, I also went and bought some fruit because I know that my body feels way better if I'm not eating brownies in the morning, but I'm putting something natural in my body like fruit. I feel a lot better right now. And I started to go general. Now this is a technique uh, straight out of a, a, a teacher called Abraham Hicks. And they talk about it in the spiritual vibrational world. I liken it and I, I think about it in terms of the brain and neuroscience and how it affects your brain patterns. So when we talked about the goldfish method, both of these methods have a similar uh, feel to them and a similar effect on the brain. And when you practice them, they really work. So what I did in going general was, I was angry and cranky about this area of my life that was sticky and not working and, and I kept trying to address it from the same emotional state. Then in going general, I completely switched tracks. And I brought up the thought, hey, it's pretty great that I'm physically able to run. And then I thought, actually this run was way better than the run I did about two or three weeks ago where it felt like my legs had forgotten how to move in that motion, that's pretty cool. Oh and hey, I have money in my pocket, I can go buy some fruit. And I have a job that supplies me a lot. Oh, it's not the job that I really, really want. Okay, yeah, chill out. I have a job and it pays the bills and I'm actually making a good amount of money at that. That's pretty cool. And I get to come home and record this video. And I know as soon as I record the video, I'm gonna feel so much better. And then it just snowballed on its own. And I didn't even address the area that was annoying me. Neurologically, this is really important because with that area that I'm angry about, I'm just going down the same super highway of frustration. But if I can change that, and go down the pathway of feeling good, feeling positive, seeing new possibilities, then I can come back to that road that was frustrating me in a gentle way at first and come to that from a different emotional state. So I haven't even done that yet. I'm not going to do that for another hour or two, but eventually I'll come back to that area, I will address it, but from a different emotional state. So for you, 
If you deal with depression or perfectionism or you downward spiral a lot, please use this. If you find yourself going down the same old path that you always go down, go outside, go for a run. Get up, do some jumping jacks, do deep breathing. Go even watch a movie with friends, but preferably you're gonna get moving, you're gonna do something different. And then start to go general. And then later in the day, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe next week, come back to that sticky area and address that. Use this with the elephant in the room, if that's your sticky area. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, as always, leave some comments in the bottom, and we will see you tomorrow for day 10.